Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a little day one vlog here in Liverpool. Starting off the day in Starbucks at Formby. This is my favourite one. It's drizzly, but I don't mind it. Warm. <laughs> Quite warm. I'm all right. So, Catherine's uh, come along with me. I'm going to enjoy a nice caramel latte and a chill. This is my favourite one. There is one closer to mum and dad's, but I do prefer this one. So, uh, we're going to head in. You get anything to eat? Cake? Oh, I might get some breakfast. Croissant. Oh, We'll see. Definitely a coffee though. I'm, I need a coffee. We've been up since seven. It's now nine o'clock. Gone nine o'clock. Waiting for air to get up. <laughs> so let's uh, head on inside. Okay, so I've got me coffee, me warm pano chocolates is on the way. Catherine's gone for a ginger shot with a caramel latte that just does not go in the fridge. That's gonna go down first. And some blueberry yogurt. Oh, so you've got sweet caramel coffee, yogurt with fruity berries in, and then cold ginger. That's to make me feel better about the sugary That's coffee. Some concoction, that is. No, not for me, I'm afraid. And I use this spoon in my coffee. I'm like, hey, they give you spoons, are you? <laughs> Forgetting it was for a yogurt. Right, I see you do your ginger shot then. Okay. That before a coffee, I'm afraid, just does not go. It, this isn't gonna taste nice when the coffee is. Oh God, oh no. It's good for you. Come on then, fire away. Right, will you hold that up a little bit higher? I haven't done a Starbucks ginger shot. In fact, have you shaken point. it? Good point. Right, go on. You've got to do the whole thing in one. That's more. That's a hundred mil in one <laughs> shot of alcohol is only twenty five mil. Bad. <laughs> Your, face Your face says otherwise. Your face says otherwise. So fast forward a couple of hours, we are now in town, parked in Kew Park, heading in for a bit of a mooch, gonna look for my phone in John Lewis. We've got mum here, dad's come as well, geez, dad's come shopping, scary times. <laughs> Catherine's here as well, the whole gang. Just gonna have a little bit of a mooch, I might take you into Primark as well if I can. Might find Jean and John Lewis oh. working away. Yeah, might All find John Lewis. Work, so. Grafting, supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> Making everyone's coffees to order. We will, uh, we'll just have a little mood to see where we end up. Primark, hopefully, as well. And hopefully, get myself a new phone. Have a look at this kick game, which is replaced. Was it quiz? Quiz it was, yeah. And these are all the shoes all wrapped up, all the Yeezys and all of them mad, I think. All the uh, designs that everyone's after, all the rare stuff. 300, 400, 500 quid a pair of shoes in there. It says something. All your Jordans, Yeezys, all that going on. So I'm just gonna head down and look at the phones. Now the reason I get John Lewis phones, remember, I did mention this in yesterday's vlog, is you get a two year warranty uh, in here. It's the phone is the same price as in the Apple shop, but Apple only give you a one year warranty. John Lewis will give you two years. So this is why I buy my Apple products from here. So my phone is behind the desk. I've gone for the 13, not the Max, just the regular 13, which will be my emails and our live streams. I've also gone from a uh, mag safe case as well. So I can get a magnet, uh, magnetic charge for the back if I want it. But well, that's what I've gone for. 
Uh, this is 50 quid and I've gone for the terabyte phone, so it's 1350 quid, I think. Not a cheap day out, but it, uh, it is for the streams and the channel and everything, so hopefully we'll be worth it. So, just in the John Lewis Cafe now, I up, bit of Belgian fudge there. We've got tiramisu tray bake, looks good. So do the muffins. Some, oh, cheesecake looks nice as well. I'm gonna grab a coffee and a little bite to eat. I think they've got pastries, soups, but the cakes do look really good. Here he comes, look, we've got him. We've got him working away. <laughs> okay, so we are all done here. We've got lemon meringues, sandwiches, scones. This was all meant to be 37 quid, which is a bit pricey for me, but we did get it for 17. We had a few vouchers to use uh, that we've had for a little while. Dad's got an egg mayo and cress sandwich, lemon drizzle cake there. Got the caramel Daddy. latte. I think 17 is right for what we've got, but I think 37 would have been on the pricey side for some sandwiches and some teas, in my opinion. But it's absolutely rammed over there, so plainly very popular in here, John Lewis Cafe. I don't know why you'd be worried about 37 pounds, because I'd have been paying anyway. Who paid? Because we had the discount vouchers. Who paid? <laughs> <laughs> So just in Primark now, having a look at some of the t-shirts. They've got a few Disney ones. I think Laura definitely might like that one. And a nice jumper there. This is all Disney. And there's a little bit of other cartoons in there. It is mostly Disney, this section. Loads of jumpers, little jumper, short set. I think definitely that little vest, if we could get that for Laura, would be nice. So it is mental in here. It's gonna be hard to film much. Very busy. They didn't have Laura's size in that nice little top. Only XL left in a lot of things. So the basket remains empty for now, but we're on to level two now. Here we go. I'm just in the home section now. It is bedlam in here. I managed to get Laura a water bottle. That's uh, all we've got so far. It's uh, very, very busy in here. I'm gonna get myself a little taste of America. I'm gonna go for an Auntie Anne's hot dog pretzel, I think. For a little bit of a snack out about in town. Do love these. That's what we're going to go for. Okay, so it's now about half past five. We had a good time in town. I uh, did get a few bits from JD. It was just very, very busy to film. It was a Saturday afternoon, which I never normally go on. Uh, it was also Pride weekend here as well. And also uh, the Liverpool game is on as well. So it was very busy in town. It was hard to film. It was chaotic, noisy music and stuff. So uh, that's why I didn't film so much there, but I might go back again, uh, maybe on Sunday or Monday and pop back in, have another little look around Primark. But we'll go in the morning. Uh, for now, I'm gonna mow the lawns. Now, if you watch the channel, you'll know I enjoy mowing the lawns. Dad's left them to be done, so we've got two sets to mow. Did I hear mowing the lawns? There you go, look, see, Did look, he's out, look. <laughs> oh, bring it on. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse, because otherwise you'll just be watching me but, for about well, an hour. Let's go and show how bad it is, because I yeah, actually quite a lot. was gonna do the midweek, but he, I got wind, he was coming home. Obviously, it was a surprise yeah. for the family. And I pretended the lawnmower was broke because sometimes mum loves to do them. And so it's so now there is three weeks quite there. a lot of growth on here. Obviously that patch in the middle is your little wildflowers, is that? Well, it was a bit of a disappointment this year, but mum wants to leave them because the bees love that particular yellow plant. 
Right, tons of clover, it's all going, it's a little bit meadowy, but it, it desperately needs cutting. Yeah, we've got a lot to mow. I mean, you've got a lot of, you could do with some serious lawn care on this. I mean, this is not really grass anymore, is hey, it? Excuse me. It's excuse just me. like, what is all, it's not grass, that is it? Well, it's, it's, it's like clover, and it, yeah, it's, it's, it's not Wembley. It's not a golf green. Certainly not. So we've got our Honda powered Mountfield 160 OHC Beast. And watch it go. It's got the roller on the back, which is going to give us our stripes. And I'm going to, when, they, when the, when the um, collector is full, I'll step in and empty it, put right. it back on. So what, you're a bit like, like, the pit team manager. I'm like, going to be the pit team manager because you love mowing. You don't. So I'm just going to pull up, and you're just going to grab the box and, and, and as quick as you can and empty can, it, and we'll be on again. And, and then we'll show them how quick we can do it. Right. <laughs> well, on time lapse, it will be a bit quicker for you guys. We've got a lot to crack on with here. Well, I think you should show them just round the garden. Just oh, what do you want me to show? I've just shown them show, all the most. Just like a little, you know, the hydrangeas. The this one's the, quite nice. The yeah. little sort of droopy one there. Yeah. 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 This one, if you remember, if anyone's watched the channel oh, for a while, no, that's, that's the one, the one where it blew down and you did what the subscriber told you to do. You cut the end off and kept that stem. I think it's going to go, though. You think it's going to go again? Well, I mean, look it what's is. happening at the base. Well, it's sprouting. All those new stems. I said to mum, if we cut it in half, we'd probably get new growth right from... Let us know in the comments if we cut that top off, because yeah. it is... What a weird tree. Why does it grow so tall and I know, skinny, skinny and... So if we chop that off, will it just sprout from the bottom side? What tree is it? It's um, someone's, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Someone's going to know in the comments if uh, Dad chops this eucalyptus in half. And also, if, uh, someone in the comments said about it making lovely logs for a fire. Scott, yeah. currently, it was all cut up into logs and he's seasoning the logs by oh, leaving right, okay. them for 12 months. Seasoning them? Yeah, yeah you put go. them in a dry cup, go on for 12 months and away you go. Right, so it's a tour of the garden now. What else have we got going on? This is the rockery, here, which, which is was... not really a rockery anymore, is no, no, it? No, no, it's just a... me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This in May was fab. It's all died right. back. So don't criticise. Okay. Don't go there. We've got a lovely white hydrangea here. What are these things here? Look a bit I know, like. I, know. Uh, I just any, anyone tell me what these are because they just come up of their own accord. They're they look like um, sweet corn, but with peas instead of the corn. They look like something from Avatar. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of Avatar. Country, and of course, Mum's favourite, not the bamboo. The bamboo, which just sprouts absolutely everywhere. You've got a pencil <laughs> conifer. Are we doing a full tour here yeah. or what? This is, I can't remember that. Not me, this is not my favourite, no, this one, I must say. It's we a bit. Hacked uh, it back this year and it's still. I wouldn't like to take it out now. I do like this one's nice. Yeah. We That's bought nice, this that. As a mature tree. That'd be lovely with um, Christmas lights yeah, drooped down we, if you could do that. You could do that. So it was already mature when we bought that. As was this magnolia. Nice. And can you see the size of the, the flowers? There's only one on it at the moment. Can you see? Look yeah, at the size massive. of the flowers. You know, you're getting a full tour of Paul, Paul Attenborough here, you know what I mean? This, this Love Your Garden with Mick Garvey. <laughs> this was bought as a little potted hydrangea by friends of ours about seven, eight years ago. Popped it in the garden and now look at it. Very nice, more and more bamboo, more bamboo here. Which we have to keep in tow. A broom, that was amazing back in April. Uh, Your little rose garden and the ro looks a bit oh struggling my. like, you know what I mean? What's going on here? Four weeks ago, this was in full bloom. And because of being in Tenerife, I failed to deadhead it. So, they died unfortunately, off. yeah. That's there a shame. We've got some aces. Now, look at, <laughs> look at this stem. The of thickness a, of that bamboo. bamboo. That's thick. That There's my hand. <laughs> That's a very thick bamboo. And it literally grows inches a day when it comes. So, there you go. We're going to get cracking with the lawn here. We've got a lot to do. I put have... my old trainers on. I used to work in these in the bar. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get cracking. I thought I'd better not wear my sandals. Let's get the Mountfield fired up. <laughs> Turbo engine. Are you ready? I mean, it's missing an air filter and everything on the side. What's going on here? Was it like, <laughs> is this pimped out or what? We've got oil and stuff everywhere.
Okay, so about half an hour later, these are the stripes end result. Was I Dad's the knackered pitch? there on the pits. He did let us down a few times. A bit of extra grass bit, yeah, cuttings yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, much better. That's one lawn down. And there are just two more to go. Look at that, look at that. I'll tell you what. Yeah, you can see the stripes all nice and clear on here. You could spend ages and get them more. You'd go over them a few times, but with two more to go, we've got to crack on. You can see all the bees on the... Uh, they, love, they love that yellow stuff. Yeah. Nice. So, just got myself a little uh, pizza hut, stuffed crust, cheese, extra pepperoni, side of chicken bites, and uh, the cat ain't moving either. You've got a dinner <laughs> date there, haven't yeah, you? Look. She ain't moving, look. <laughs> the novelty of having your home will wear off soon and he'll come back to me. Can't beat a pizza hut pizza. With a cat on Pizza your hut or Domino's, that's the question. Pizza hut every day. And we got stuffed crust. Yeah, with cheese. Very nice. Good morning. It's actually the following morning now where I'm finishing off this vlog. We are all uh, done. I uh, hope you did enjoy yesterday's vlog. As I said, town was my busy. Good to get the lawns done, which I enjoyed. And then we just chilled. I had Pizza Hut, which was amazing. Cheese stuffed crust, extra pepperoni. Definitely beats Domino's Pizza Hut. And then uh, we just watched a bit of Netflix and I set up my new phone, which is actually really good. Happy with it. I went for the blue one. Uh, this is one terabyte, so loads of memory for me. And uh, I did buy the official Apple case. So if I want to, I can get one of the battery packs that sticks on the back. Uh, but for now, it's just a nice case. So I'm happy with it. Definitely got to look after it. This is going to be uh, my business phone for the next few years uh, for sure. But yeah, John Lewis were spot on. They had plenty in stock. Uh, in all of the colours as well. The bigger the memory you went, the more colours they had. Uh, but that is going to be it for today's vlog. Join me tomorrow where I'm up and I'm out and about. We're going to go for another coffee and then we're going to go do a bit more shopping and a few other bits and bobs today uh, and also a live stream. So make sure you tune in for those. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe as well and uh, stride on and uh, off for a coffee.